Okay, hi guys, it's me again. I am back with another vlog. Okay, let me not say another vlog. Um, I decided to participate in Vlogmas because I figured that I really have a huge problem with vlogging and I mean, I don't know. Actually, my boyfriend suggested that I open a different YouTube account for vlogging and a different one for, you know, what I usually post on my YouTube channel, but we'll obviously see how that goes because, I mean, the, you know, the current one is still fairly new, um, very small, so we'll see how um, the Vlogmas does. I'm literally going to try my best to do these vlogs and I'm just really hoping for the best, so if I'm lacking somewhere, please just be with me just be kind all right i am looking so pretty oh my god okay so i'm on my way to jesus to the city yes i mean i literally waited an entire year to attend this show and it's finally here and i am going i'm going there with my friend i'm going to pick her up um please and never mind the hair the lady that was doing my hair a very good friend of mine um we are not done doing the hair it was just already late yesterday and she's obviously using public transport so she needed to go home and i also needed to also get home so yeah so we're still gonna finish the hair so i'm gonna i'm just gonna tie it in a bun um just to avoid you know this mess behind but it's looking pretty good, I can tell you that. Um, so yeah, and um, welcome to my channel, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, yeah, it's still the same old me, the girl of today, the girl of now. Uh, it's just that on a different vibe, on a different, you know, in a December mode. So yeah, let's do this, guys. God has called them to 
like 30 minutes max and that's that and I feel like this will be the okay I think I'm just gonna close the yesterday's vlog and I'm gonna start a new one today because today I have something else happening for me but you'll hear it in the next one okay guys so yesterday um, I went to um, Jesus to the city event uh, by Musa Church so how I got to hear about um okay first of all not even how I got to hear about Muso. What is going on with this thing? Okay, not even how I got to hear about Muso, but how I got, yeah, how I got to hear about Muso is that um, ever since I arrived in Pretoria, ne, I have been looking for a church. Like, I've been praying to God for a church, even though when I arrived, the first day when I arrived, COVID hit. So, obviously, there was no way that we could go to church during that year. But as soon as the restrictions were lifted, people were starting to go to church. And from back home, I'm a, I'm a church girl, I'm a Jesus girl. Um, yeah, I still had my worship moments in the house, but sometimes you really long that thing. You really want to fellowship. You understand what I mean? And I longed for that for like for so long, and I was just praying for a church because I feel like I'm a very um, spirit-led person. So I knew, like I knew, like I knew that okay, I'm looking for a certain kind of church, even though I couldn't say, I couldn't really get that in explain it then but I knew I my spirit knew what kind of a church it needs and for a very long time I was praying for a church when I arrived um, you know during my yeah when I was in Pretoria so now one day when I was no longer even praying for a church anymore I was just like ah, um, I guess I'll just be those people that just worships in the house or you understand what I mean because I feel like for me it's very hard not even hard to be impressed but it's very hard to find a home you know what I mean um, um, I've been to one church my whole life and that is my home back home you know what I mean but then now when I was in Victoria it was a different story so one day um, I was coming back from work and one of my friends said to me okay Pindile uh, was it a Friday no it was a Thursday it was a Thursday it's like I told me Honali specialist said Savannah go check us. Uh, let's go and and me says like okay I'm not even going to work on Friday. Why not? Shabu uh I say I sent my friend the money and then he goes to he goes to check us. Shabu, hi a checker I say oh on on my way back from home the checkers is just literally here at the corner of uh the apartments just nearby. Where I stay. So when I when I I told them that okay I'm gonna come from work, go change and then come to you guys. So I when I get to the robots here yeah, just before I you know I come up to my apartments, I see my friend's car, you know, getting into checkers. So I'm like I let me just follow them once. Get in Libona and then Bona, okay fine, they but towa bagana inside checkers. And then I come after them. Now they are already inside checkers. I, as I as I walk and I approach the door, I see a very familiar face from a long, long time ago, and I'm, I come close and I'm like, oh my god, I really don't want to make this person feel awkward or you know. But then Gabano, Lena, this person unshebi, Lena, kimo unshebi, Lena unshebi. I'm like, no man, Tato. And she's like, yeah, it's me. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe it's you. I can't believe we're meeting. Um, for uh, uh, wait, it's this now. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe it's you. I can't believe that it's you, you know? And I, I sort of like remind her how I know her. Maybe she, she definitely did not know me. So I'm like, okay, uh, I know you from high school. What are the odds, you know? We come from the Val, we're meeting in Pretoria, you know? 
um, we were not even friends in high school. I mean, she was years older than me. So I'm like, yeah, um, you used to lead the SCA. The SCA is a San Chris Christian army where we used to go, um, we used to attend it in the morning for prayer and a bit of worship just before school starts. So we used to, I used to attend that like every single day of my schooling years. So she was the leader in the SCA. So I'm like, yeah, I was doing grade 8 when we were doing grade 11. And, you know, we were all in the SCA together. And I was like, ah, oh, And she was like, oh my God, yeah, I think I remember you. Um, now, I, she was like, okay, so now I actually have a church. Um, yeah, I have a church here in Pretoria, it's in Hatfield. Um, just, uh, just check it out, it's called Musa Church. Check it on the platforms, see what you think. And I really hope it's something that, you know, is going to vibe or whatever. Get along with your spirit and so forth. I'm like, okay, sharp, sharp. Fine, it was a Thursday, hanged with my friends. Friday, I go home to my parents' house in the Val. When I'm in the valley, I'm like, no, let me check out this church on the socials. I check the church out on the socials, guys. The Holy Spirit just came upon me. Like, literally, as I was scrolling through the socials, and I was like, oh my God, this is my home. And from there on, it was just history with me. I started attending Muso, and Jesus in the City is hosted by Muso. So, <sighs> so yeah, guys, I, I just honestly feel like it's a... It's a, it's, a, it's a spirit, it's a bible and when we got the man, this friend of mine that I was with, um, she and I actually also attend the same, grew up in the same church back home, Wabo. so it's very difficult for us to find a church or a home here in Pretoria but then when we went there, Lena she felt like yeah no mm. and she's a very, she's also a very like spiritually sensitive person so we know when we are in a place where okay, these, the no shade but we know when we're in a place where I could a lot game anymore you know what I mean how pushy the real um, Jesus but when we got there oh my word it was like from the mo we arrived late first of all so we didn't we couldn't even join in the praise and worship fine but as soon as not I'm a Bible based person I'm a Bible girl like I I read the Bible I I'm always in pursuit to try and understand or to try and know, you know. So the Bible is just that thing that I always run to for when I'm just like when I'm curious, you know, when I'm for my curiosity. I just yeah, I'm just a Bible girl. So when like I would know if I come across a Christian that uh, does not read the Bible or a pastor that just speaks and speaks and speaks but speaks a whole lot of nothingness and is not Bible based so but when we got there it was a different story the pastor was just on like he was just well, well yeah Jesus is in this place honey you know Jesus is here I push the Jesus the real Jesus concept so I've never looked back um, I've not been consistent in going to church but I have like when I can go I do go um, guys it's just yeah man and then they had their first installment of Jesus to the city last year I couldn't go because I had COVID I always have COVID in December for some weird reason um, and then this year I was like oh my god I'm going to wait the entire year to go and as soon as the tickets were released I bought the, I was I, I bought the tickets I bought my ticket very long time ago I can tell you that I bought my ticket and yeah man I it surprisingly enough I bought my ticket knowing very well hurry it is my weekend in nah, I work 12 hours a 12 hour shift so there is no way that I was going to leave work and not uh, you know leave work and attend the show and in my workplace you cannot just ask for leave like in sh like short notice woman. so I knew when, as soon as they released the dates when I checked on the calendar I'm like I'm weekend in but I'm buying this ticket Jesus will make a way and let me tell you he made a way he literally made a way I didn't have to go to work and I just went to Jesus city and I had an amazing amazing <gasps> what a time to be alive you know seeing young people in pursuit you know seeking Jesus running after Jesus like it's such a beautiful time to be alive like Jesus is in fashion right now you know what I mean Jesus is literally in fashion right now and it was packed you know like there was a lot of young people and I was so you know 
my spirit was so fulfilled to see that oh, oh my god young people are getting it you know we are getting it we we really want jesus and oh guys you should definitely attend jesus to the city if you get a chance it's an amazing amazing concept it's an amazing show it's uh, it's so amazing you guys but anyway let me just end this vlog i'm you know, i'm sorry this is such a long outro but i just wanted to just get it out there you know um okay guys i think we're doing this you know we're getting into this vlogmas vibe and we're doing it so yeah i will see you guys in the next one i don't i told you that i don't want to make this vlog too long so bye <laughs>